The Democratic Alliance, a joint opposition coalition for the 2016 polls, hopes to field a single presidential candidate as well as joint candidates in constituencies, districts and local councils. Whether the opposition will be able to accomplish that feat in areas where several positions are eyeing the same seat is a different matter. One member of the coalition, the Democratic Party, is already warning its aspirants against opposing the position of the alliance. Party President Norbert Mao, who is himself battling a breakaway faction of the party that is seeking entry into the alliance, warns the party will not tolerate rebels. We will do our best to make sure our candidates get the endorsement of TDA. And we don't expect our members to become rebellious. They can rebel if they want and face the sanctions of the party. This term of mine, I'm going to be a very hard disciplinarian. For the first time, you may hear that DP has expelled some members. The alliance's protox stipulates that independent candidates will only be accepted into the coalition if they formally notify the group and have been seconded by five TDA summit members. As the alliance sits in motion systems for the selection of the different candidates, DP says it is leaving nothing to chance by turning to social media to sell the party's candidates. We have already acquired our own cameras, so we shall also cover our press conferences and events. The alliance comprising of opposition parties and eminent persons will choose its flag bearers for various positions early next month. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.